Hello student, today we are going to discuss about a new topic that is agaricus. Agaricus are the belongs to Basidio mycotina or Basidio mycotina members. So they are the generally called mushroom and they are about different species are found in location of different region of the world out of which in India we, if we discuss that in India there is about 25 species there is about 25 species are found out of them uh, 17 are most common 17 species are most common and uh, from that apart from that uh, some are going to be edible and some of them uh, some of them are poisonous means they produce some uh, amount of toxin in the form of protein so if any organism can be consume them uh, then uh, can suffer from many disease or maybe death may be occurs so however the if we discuss its vegetative structure of the mushroom there is a uh, three form of vegetative structure we found one is called primary structure primary primary structure or primary mycelium primary mycelium and like uh, secondary secondary structure and tertiary structure or primary mycelium secondary mycelium or tertiary mycelium secondary mycelium and tertiary mycelium so there is three different form of structure or of mycelium are going to be formed by this fungus. Now if we observe that initially the basidiospore, this is suppose basidiospore, basidiospore. So this basidiospore when going to be germinate, it germinate to produce a single mycelium or you can say Mycelium means uh, a branch structure of body structure of a fungi is called mycelium and single one is hyphae. So this is now a hyphal structure, hyphae. Initially it actually developed a hyphae. Later stage this hyphae going to be differentiated to form its branch. Now this structure we call them mycelium. Mycelium. If the basidiospore is going to be germinate and produce a single mycelium structure and it's going to be develop a structure like this then we call them it is a primary mycelium suppose there is two basidiospore, spore and each one going to be germinate at a certain time intervals and each one develop its differential structures means branch hyper branch and from that we observe that this two hyphae, suppose this two hyphae, these two hyphae are come, come close to each other just like this and now they joined or cross with each other or maybe you can say that the common wall between them are going to be open up or you can say there is common passage is going to be developed from this mycelium this whole mycelium the content whatever the content is present in that hyphae is going to be transport to this hyphae or from this hyphae to the this hyphae so what happened actually there is a transfer of nuclei also takes place suppose i am uh, drawing the uh, giving the color of the nuclei sorry uh, that is black and this is blue suppose there is blue nuclei from this side and there is black nuclei containing this this one and when they cross to each other and 
Finally, the blue nuclei and the black nuclei united to form a structure that is called dikeratization. We call them dikeratization means suppose I am drawing the figure here that suppose this hyphae is come from the this side and this hyphae is come from the this side and finally the blue color hyphae suppose from this side the blue and this one from this side nuclei is black and now the a single component or single chamber within which two nuclei are present that is blue as well as black nuclei and this blue and black nuclei unit to form a structure one single nuclei we have a single nuclei then we call them there is a development of secondary mycelium mycelium means these two develop a new structure and this one is called secondary mycelium and finally this grown up and again united to form a tertiary mycelium structure so just like this so these are the different form of mycelium are going to develop or vegetative structure is developed by the agaricus so if you discuss its systematic position of agaricus though its systematic position if we discuss its division is eumycota class Hymenomycetes order Agaricals family Agaricaceae genus Agaricus. I am repeating again for your better understanding that the Agaricus its division. If we discuss its systematic position, systematic position, the division is Eumycota. And its class is Hymenomyces. Order is Agaricals. Family Agaricaceae. And the genus is Agaricus. So this is a systematic position of Agaricus. And Agaricus are commonly grow under moist shady condition. Moist wet condition. Where the humus content is rich. Or moisture content, moisture content is rich. And shady places under the tree or maybe many uh, place where the seed is found where the agaricus is better grow it required mainly carbon sources from the dead organic matter basically the agaricus grow upon the uh, grow as uh, saprophytes means they grow upon the dead organic matter means uh, dead organic matter means uh, suppose there is a fall of leaf leaf fall is um, agar or uh, upon which the fungus are grown up then we call them uh, that these fungi or uh, these agaricus can grow upon the wood maybe and be grown upon the dead organic matter different uh, leaf from upon which dead leaf upon which they grown up so basically they are saprophytes mode of nutrition are saprophytes so agaricus are obligate saprophyte obligate means true saprophytes means they grow upon uh, actually dead organic matter Right. So this is a basic idea about the agaricus um, grown up uh, position. And now discussing about the uh, life cycle, life cycle. So the life cycle, life cycle. So life cycle. If we discuss, then uh, agaricus is uh, reproduced means uh, continue its life cycle by following three ways continue in three ways one is vegetative another is asexual and number third is sexual vegetative reproduction So the multiplication of agaricus or you can say the continuum of life cycle of agaricus is Texas by three ways. One is vegetative reproduction, another is asexual reproduction, another is sexual reproduction. Basically, the vegetative reproduction is takes place maybe by fragmentation. But asexual reproduction may not be occur rarely. It may be found rarely. 
means uh, rear uh, asexual reproduction is takes place by development of a terminal spore it going to detach and for on a suitable substratum and finally this spore going to germinate to develop a mycelium structure or a other structure so this is not happen actually asexual reproduction so we are finally discuss about sexual reproduction so in case of agaricus the sexual reproduction is takes place by the fusion of two hyphae or you can say there is no sex organ actually true sex organ but the two hyphae if i am discussing here let's suppose it is a basidial spore it is another basidial spore i will giving the name uh, one is uh, first basidial spore is a another basidial spore is b so i am discussing here now sexual reproduction so in sexual reproduction what happen there is two suppose basidial spore and it going to germinate to produce their mycelium or you, whatever you can say hyphae also when they develop their mycelium so these two mycelium come to each other and we can say suppose i'm changing the color for your better understanding wait so suppose this is black and these are the blue so two hyphae are come close to each other and interact with each other and at that time whatever the cytoplasmic material is present from this uh, this side hyphae is going to be transported to the this side of mycelium and the nuclei from this side are going to be transferred to this side and finally they united to form a dikaryotic nucleus dikaryotic nucleus so it is called as dikaryotization also so this is somehow it is a types of uh, reproduction it is called sexual reproduction so within which we found there is two hyphae of different strain are come closer to each other and they join to each other at the same time their nuclei from two different hyphae are going to be united to form a dikaryotic structure so this is a type of sexual reproduction which happens uh, within the agaricus and they form a umbrella shaped structure when they are going to be mature and it contains some gills the mushroom it uh, look like a umbrella shaped structure and it contains the gills from the inner side it contains the gills so the mushroom i'm drawing the and another diagram for a better understanding so this is a supposing mushroom and these are the gills which are present so this gills about this is a mushroom structure and you see just here that uh, the mushroom contain the gills initially they develop from a bottom like structure so it is called bottom stage bottom stage when the dikaryotization is occur it develop a bottom like structure mass of mycelium is present here and finally it give rise to at the later stage a large structure just like this so initially the dikaryotization occur after that it will develop a bottom stage after that 
the bottle cells develop into a umbrella cell structure and it is called pillars this is called stipe if we discuss its structure upper portion is pillars and the basal portion is it is called stipe of the agaricus so this is the basic idea about the life cycle of agaricus if you like this video please subscribe my channel and share it thank you